वेलकम टू एस टी अकेडमी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पार्ट टू ऑफ यूनिट्स ऑफ मेजरमेंट द इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिपीटेशन इन द मेजरमेंट ऑफ सर्टन क्वान्टिटीज इन एन एक्सपेरिमेंट गेव द फॉलोइंग क्वान्टिटीज वन पॉइंट टू नाइन अप टू वन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री कैलकुलेट द मीन वैल्यू एप्स मीन एब्सोलूट एरर रिलेटिव एरर एंड परसेंटेज एरर स्टूडेंट लेसन केयरफुली द मीन वैल्यू समटाइम दे मे गिव यू ए क्वेश्चन दे विल सेट द मेजरमेंट ऑफ एन एक्सपेरिमेंट सो एंड सो वैल्यूज दे विल गिव एज द वैल्यूज आर गिवेन हियर वन पॉइंट टू नाइन वन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री लाइक दिस वैल्यू एंड दे विल आक्स यू इन एम सेट कैलकुलेट ओनली मीन वैल्यू समटाइम दे मे आक्स यू कैलकुलेट ओनली मीन एब्सोलूट एरर वैल्यू एंड रिलेटिव एरर एंड परसेंटेज एरर अमॉन्ग दिस ऑल क्वेश्चन मीन वैल्यू एब्सोलूट एरर और रिलेटिव एरर और परसेंटेज एरर दे कैन आक्स यू वन क्वेश्चन और दे कैन आक्स यू समटाइम मीन वैल्यू और समटाइम दे मे आक्स एब्सोलूट एरर रिलेटिव एरर और परसेंटेज एरर दैट इज द चॉइस ऑफ द एग्जामिनर तो मीन वैल्यू हाउ यू कैन कैलकुलेट जस्ट एड ऑल दोज एक्सपेरिमेंट्स एंड डिवाइड बाई नंबर ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट यू विल गेट द आंसर यू नो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द एवरेज नेक्स्ट इज टू फाइंड आउट द मीन एब्सोलूट एरर तो आफ्टर फाइंडिंग द मीन वैल्यू the mean value is 1.33 and then subtract the observation value which, which is given in the experiment measurement if you minus them all if you subtract them all 1.33 is the mean value subtract with the first point 1.29 1.33 like this you will get all those values like for the first value you got delta x1 is 0.04 then delta x2 delta x3 all those values add this all values of x delta x1 to delta x8 and divide by 8 you will get the value of mean absolute error relative error is the formula of relative error is mean absolute error by xm that means the mean value of the observation the mean value how much you got 1.33 that is divided with absolute error you will get the relative error then the percentage error is very simple the question of the answer of percentage error the value of relative error into 100 if you sometime they may give you a question relative error is so and so just find out the percentage error just multiply with 100 you will get sometime they may give you a mean absolute error and they will tell you to calculate relative error means just divide mean absolute error with the mean value you will get the answer for relative error then percentage error just multiply with relative error with 100 you will get the answer this is the first question so from this first question there are two to three four question they can ask or similarly sometime mean error mostly in m set they just ask mean value or sometime they may ask mean absolute error or sometime they may ask relative error or percentage error one mcq is means four to five questions cover in this one mcq next is the length and breadth of a rectangle is given length is given and breadth is given calculate the area of the rectangle to find out the area of the rectangle you need to find out what are length length is given breadth is given the area of the rectangle formalize length into breadth you will get the result then you to find out the area of the rectangle with error limits next next he is asking you to find if to just to calculate the area of rectangle just multiply length into breadth you will get the answer but he is asking with error limits error limits are given here the formula for area of rectangle delta a by a is plus or minus del delta l by l plus delta b by b so you will get delta l is 0.1 the length see this is 5.7 is the value and plus or minus is the error value so delta l value is given this 5.7 is l value and 0.1 is the delta l value and here b also 3.4 is the b value and uh, plus or minus 0.2 is delta b value now substitute th those values in that you will get a answer of delta a by a is 1.48 by 19.3 then cross multiply with a then delta a by a equals to 1.41 by 19.38 then multiply cross multiply a you will get the answer of the delta a those so this is the error limit delta a is the error limit you got the answer the next is 
now the area equals to how much you got area value 19 centimeter square then how much you got error limit plus or minus 1.5 this is the answer very very easy answer you can calculate next is because units of measurement sometime in MSET they may ask one question sometime they can ask you two question but most of the time the examiner they ask only one question from units of measurement next question is distance covered by a body in time is the time is given and the distance is given calculate the speed you know the formula of speed is distance by time the, the, so here the distance is 40 and see here I am telling you that 40 is the distance value and phi is the time value plus or minus that is a delta s and delta t so whenever it give a value of plus or minus that understand that that is a delta s or delta t value so find out the speed 40 by 5 that is 8 next is delta v by v equals to the formula what you need to calculate here percentage calculate the speed of the body and calculate the percentage error in the speed so to find out the speed the formula of speed is delta v by v equals to delta s by s plus delta t by t so you got here delta v by delta v is 0 0.4 that is given in the question and sorry delta s is 0 0.4 that is given in the question and delta s sorry s is 40 now is plus delta t is 0 0.5 and uh, del t is 5 then you calculate you will get delta v by v is 0 0.5 one three next what is v you got the v is eight the next you have delta v by v is equals to 0 0.13 what is v you got speed that is eight just cross multiply it, you will get the answer of v so the v is eight and the change in delta v is 1.04 the percentage error you know the easy formula of percentage error for the speed is delta v by v into 100 any percentage error whether he is asking you the distance percentage error means delta s by s into 100 and speed percentage error is delta v by v into 100 so how much you got delta v by v is 0 0.13 that is multiply with 100 that is 13 percent is the answer very important question next is this is very very important question so many times this kind of question ask in m set very important question the screw gauge gives the following reading when used to measure the diameter of a wire main check here they have given main scale reading circular scale reading and given that 1 mm on main scale corresponded to 100 division of circular scale so main scale reading is given circular scale reading is given what you need to calculate here give the value uh, the calculation is there you need to find out the diameter of a wire so how you will find out the diameter of a wire so when used to measure the diameter of a wire you need to calculate the diameter of a wire the diameter of a file formula is msr plus csr into lc now let us see what is lc that is least con the what is the formula of least con value of one main scale by total division of circular scale one main scale value is one and the circular scale value is 100 1 by 100 mm now calculate the diameter of a wire this is a very important question msr what is msr male scale, main scale reading is 0 plus csr what is csr here circular scale reading that is 52 division that is given in the question then multiply with lc least con 1 by 100 you will get the answer very important question next and another very very important question this question is asked in je mains also but this question this kind of question can be asked in mset don't think that the question which asks in je mains cannot be asked in mset possibilities are there so many times some questions came from je mains in mset also the current voltage relation of a diode is given where apply voltage v is in voltmeter and temperature t is the kelvin if the student makes an error of 0 0.01 volts while measuring the current of 5 ampere meter ampere at 300k what will be the error in the absolute error in ma so i is given the current is given or next is what is given in the question if a student makes a measurement of 0 0.y that is change delta v delta v is plus or minus whenever it gives a question in a question plus or minus that depends that is a d or delta v the dv also you can write out delta v plus or minus temperature is given and the current is 5 meter amperes 
नेक्स्ट इज द क्वेश्चन इज आई इक्वल्स टू ई पावर हंड्रेड वोल्ट बाई टी ब्रिंग दिस माइनस वन हियर इट बिकम प्लस वन नेक्स्ट यू नो दैट द फॉर्मूला ऑफ लॉग एरेथम वेन एक्सपोनेंशियल कम्स हियर इट बिकम लॉग तो हियर इज लॉग आई प्लस वन इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड वी बाई टी नाउ वॉट वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट डी आई द चेंज इन एरर ऑफ करंट डी आई तो डी आई बाई डी आई बाई वन प्लस वन इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड बाई डी वी सो हियर कैलकुलेट क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई यू विल गेट द डी आई वैल्यू सिंपल क्वेश्चन गाइज इन एन एक्सपेरिमेंट द एंगल्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू बी मेजर यूजिंग एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट ट्वेंटी नाइन डिवीजन ऑफ मेन स्केल एक्जैक्टली को इनसाइड विद थर्टी डिवीजन ऑफ वेर वर्नियर स्केल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इफ द स्मॉलेस्ट डिवीजन ऑफ द मेन स्केल इज हाफ ए डिग्री जीरो पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री देन द लीस्ट कॉन् फॉर्मूला ऑफ लीस्ट कॉन्ड इज वेरी सिंपल मेन स्केल वैल्यू बाई नंबर ऑफ डिवीजन ऑफ वर्नियर स्केल तो वन बाई मेन स्केल डिवीजन इज गिवेन हियर हाउ मच इज द मेन स्केल डिवीजन वैल्यू मेन स्केल डिवीजन वैल्यू इन एन एक्सपेरिमेंट टू बी मेजर यूजिंग ट्वेंटी नाइन को इन साइट्स नेक्स्ट इज वन बाई थर्टी थर्टी इंटू द डिग्री इज गिवेन द वट इज द डिग्री दिस इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव यू कैन राइट वन बाई टू इक्वल्स टू वन वन डिग्री बाई सिक्सटी दैट इज वन मिनिट दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन गाइज नेक्स्ट इज ए फिजिकल क्वान्टिटी इज रिप्रेजेंट बाई एक्स is given the percentage in the measurement of mass length time are alpha beta and gamma percentage then the maximum percentage error is delta x by x is the formula of percentage error equals to delta m by m delta x is for delta x by x into 100 equals to a into delta m by m into 100 plus delta l by l into 100 plus c delta t by t into 100 this is the formula now what you need to calculate delta a, m by m into 100 what is delta m by m that is mass that is alpha next is delta l by l is the beta and delta t by t is a gamma so now substitute those values you will get the answer next is very important question so many time this question has been asked in many competitive exam resistance of a wire given wire is obtained by measuring the current flowing And it and the voltage difference applied to it. The percentage error in the measurement is three. Let's substitute the value of, you know, the resistance formula according to Ohm's law. V is equals to I R. R is equals to V by I. Substitute that, you will get the answer. Very simple question. Next is two resistance of two resistors of resistance. Two two resistors are given. Find out the series combination and find out the parallel combination of this relation relation is also you need to find out but so many times in m set what happens they will ask you just to calculate series and parallel they won't ask sometimes they may ask you to find out the equivalent resistance also the series formula is r is equals to r plus r1 plus r2 just substitute the value you add left hand side 100 plus 200 that is 300 and right hand side 3 plus 4 that is 7 equivalent resistance of parallel the formula of parallel resistance is r1 by r2 plus r1 plus r2 r1 is 100 into 200 by 100 plus 100 into 200 by uh, 100 plus 200 that when you calculate you will get the answer 66.7 this is brief about this next is very important question the respective number of significant figures for the number 23.023 and 0.023 and 21 and 10 to the power of minus 3 r so the first all non zero number are significant figures zeros occurring between zero digit are also significant these are the formula for uh, to check with significant figures if the number is less than 1 zero between the decimal and first non zero digit are not significant the power of 10 is not significant power whenever the any power comes that is not a significant figures next is simple question guys let epsilon not denote a dimension formula permittivity of vacuum if m is mass l is the length t is the time and a is electric current then what happens if do you know the coulomb's inverse law formula F equals to one by four pi epsilon naught q one q two by r square epsilon naught equals to you will get this epsilon naught real formula of epsilon naught is 
c square by n m square substitute those in the dimension you will get the answer next is very important question uh, the dimension formula of magnetic field strength is mlt is mlt and c is given as you know in magnetism the formula of force is uh, b q v where b is the magnetic induction q is the charge v is the velocity substitute that you will get the answer b equals to force by q v so you know the force for dimension formula substitute those dimension formula you will get the answer next here also the answer is finished here but sometime what what happens when it represent to pressure you need to uh, substitute the value a by bx this is also you can use check whether the relation x is equals to ut plus half at square is the dimension correct or not dimensionally it is correct or not you can use the dimension formula you can check next is young's modulus of steel is given very important question express it in dyne by centimeter square here dyne is in cgs unit young's modulus the uh, unit of young's modulus is y equals to 19 into 10 to the power of 10 next newton is 10 to the power of 5 and meter square is 10 is 10 squares 10, 10 square centimeter whole square substitute that you will get the answer it's very simple question next is for a particle moving in a circular orbit uniformly centripetal force which depends upon mass velocity of, of the particle and the radius of the uh, circle express centripetal force in this quantities f is directly proportional to m a m power a v power b r power c this is a very important formula use the dimensional formula equal that you will get the answer next and the very important question expression of mass these are the very very important questions 17 1 just convert just substitute the dimensional formula remember the formulas of dimension which i have given in this question just remember those definitely help you to get good marks last question last two question is screw gauge have 100 equal division and a pitch of length is 1 mm is used to measure the diameter of a wire of length 5.6 the main circular reading is 1 47 circular division of coincide with the main scale find the curved surface area of the wire curved surface area surface area formula is pi dl then the least con formula is you know how to calculate least con the, the main scale reading divided by uh, equal division means equal division is 100 then you will get the answer diameter formula is msr plus csr already we did the first problem like second problem msr plus csr lc substitute the value of msr main scale reading and csr csr is also very important circular division reading substitute those you will get the answer d when you find a diameter just substitute in pi dl by diameter length substitute that you will get the answer very very important question two more question left guys in surplus experiment the diameter of wire is given substitute very simple question young's modulus of the material of the wires the young's modulus formula is given just substitute you will get the answer next is the side of a cube is measured by the vernier caliper very important least con of vernier caliper so many times this question asks some they may ask you least count of vernier caliper sometime they may ask the side of the cube density also they may ask you this is a very important question this is all about units of measurement very important vsqs i have given practice that i have also given the part one in the description the theory questions of this these are the practical question units of measurement check in the description we have given uh, the important VSCQ sometime in uh, units of measurement they are asking theory questions sometime they are asking practical questions so I have made part 1 and part 2 part 1 for theory because this time we are expecting more theory questions and part 2 is practical practice those the part 1 is given in the description thanks for watching